do you agree that it was a failure? You said this cannot happen, but first and foremost, before you make sure you make the changes, you have to acknowledge what a failure this was. Uh, Kate, when I say that something like this cannot happen, we are speaking of a failure. We are going to analyze through an independent review uh, how that occurred, why it occurred, and make recommendations and findings to make sure it doesn't happen again. Hey there, my name is Devori Darkins. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're going to be talking about this interview that the Department of Homeland Security Secretary, Mayorkas, uh, did on CNN. And it just shows you the politics that are in play in regards to the failed assassination attempt of former President Donald Trump. Now, before we play the video, you guys already know what to do. Like, share, and subscribe. Play the video. Joining me right now is the Secretary of Homeland Security, Alejandro Mayorkas. Of course, Secretary, the Secret Service is in under the Department of Homeland Security. There are so many questions today about what happened on Saturday. What, what did the Secret Service do, not do? What kind of a failure was it in their planning and their protocol? How was that man able to get so close to assassinating a former president? What is, first and foremost, the latest you know about the man who did this. Do you think we will learn a motive, Secretary? Kate, we will deliver answers uh, to the American people to the fullest extent uh, possible. That is our responsibility and not ours alone. Uh, as I hope you know, uh, the FBI is conducting a criminal investigation and President Biden has directed an independent review uh, of the incidents on Saturday. But let me take a step back and echo President Biden's very, very important words. We are so relieved that former President Trump is okay. Our hearts break for the Comprador family. And of course, we pray for a speedy and safe um, full recovery for those injured. We have to, we have to tone down the rhetoric in this country. We are in a heightened threat environment. Our incredible protection. See, th this is the problem with his interview, just straight up. Just think about it from a professionalism standpoint, right? He's on here already talking about political talking points, right? That's a political statement. We need to tone down the rhetoric. That's what politicians would say. You are the head of Homeland Security, which means the Secret Service falls under your responsibility. The first thing that you should probably be doing is accepting responsibility. Like he should be coming out and just saying straight up, hey, you know what? This has been a complete failure. Uh, I'm, I'm going to do everything in my power to make sure this never happens again. I want to get to the bottom of it, of, of it myself. I would never want a former president or current president or any elected official to worry about their safety. That is my responsibility. That's what we are wanting him to say. But he's never going to say it because he's speaking like a politician and not actually like a leader, someone who's going to lead with uh, responsibility, right? Let's, let's keep listening. Active services um, adapt to that uh, dynamic threat environment and make the changes that are necessary. That is indeed what an independent review is directed to do. Identify what occurred, make recommendations to ensure that not, nothing like this ever happens again. We have a fail proof responsibility. So he's saying, uh, he, he's basic, you gotta be, you gotta listen very carefully to the words. They don't ever wanna say, I wanna make sure that this doesn't happen again. We're gonna do an independent investigation to make sure that this doesn't happen again. It's just, they, they know what they're doing, okay? But as the head guy, the buck stops with you. You're the secretary, Homeland Security, which means security is your thing. Uh, you, you would expect him to be more of a leader uh, and this is why he's already been impeached by the House. Um, they were already trying to lock him up because of the border situation. Uh, but let, let's go ahead and continue. But what level of failure was it? I mean, it's been called by some hmm. lawmakers a security failure at the highest level. We now know just this morning we learned the Secret Service director in her first public comments said this. The Secret 
hold on, sorry. Yeah, her first comments today. I mean, come on. I mean, that's how long you, this is the problem. They're, they're so politically jaded, right? Uh, they're so loyal to the Democrat party. They can't even have a level of humility to just come out and just say, hey guys, before I give an official statement, I just wanna say this sentence or this particular thing from my own personal stance about this situation. I am the head of the Secret Service. I am deeply sorry about what happened. I wanna to get to the bottom of it. End of interview. And then you can come back later and give us your facts and give us your rhetoric and give us your political response, right? But just for the humility as an American citizen, it's time to put the politics to the side and leadership to truly take center stage and also just what this country is all about. We take care of our own regardless. And it's just it's just a shame. And the same thing for him. He's not going to come out and say it. But anyways, sorry for, for cutting this off. Let's, let's back up here. Public comments said this. The Secret Service is working with all involved federal, state, and local agencies to understand what happened, how it happened, and how we can prevent an incident like this from ever taking place again. But Secretary, do you call this no a apology, security failure the on the part of the Secret Service? An incident like this cannot happen. That is precisely why President Biden directed an independent review so that that review, its conclusions and its recommendations have the full confidence of the American public. We will uh, uh, carefully analyze in an independent and thorough fashion what occurred. Uh, recommendations will be made. Those recommendations will be implemented. We are in a dynamic threat environment. We adapt. What is he reading off a teleprompter? Just look at his eyes. Look at this guy. Let me back this up really quick because this is ridiculous. He, first of all, he didn't even answer the question, right? Public. We will an independent review so that that review, its conclusions and its recommendations have the full confidence of the American public. He's not even looking we at will, the camera. We uh, will uh, carefully analyze in an independent and thorough fashion what occurred. Uh, recommendations will be made. Those recommendations mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. will be implemented. Mm -hmm. We are in a dynamic threat environment. Already heard we it. adapt to that dynamism yep. every single day. Changes have been made to the Republican National Convention, just as the 18-month planning calls for. Okay. It calls for changes based on changes in the threat environment, and that is where we you are now. the question? Oh, God, this guy, he's a piece of work, isn't he? He's that, look at this, Secretary Homeland Security. That's his response. That's his response, just pathetic. If you don't want to say, because the in, in a review is still happening, who is who failed in terms of the security uh, around this rally? Do you agree that it was a failure? You said this hmm. cannot happen. You see how she's trying to ask the question again, but just in a different way. She, she's funny for that. But first and foremost, before you make sure you make the changes, you have to acknowledge what a failure this was. It's hmm. a good point. Uh, Kate, when I say that something like this cannot happen, we are speaking of a failure. We are okay. going. Okay, speaking of a failure does not mean you're classifying it as a failure. Uh, what do you think? We're stupid or something? I mean, come on, you know, and this is what they do, right? They 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 talk as if they know you're not actually going to follow up and critically think about what they said. OK, they're very careful with their words and sometimes they're so careful they sound stupid. Right. And this is exactly what he's, he sounds stupid. You, you're the head guy. It's it's in your wheelhouse. It's your responsibility. The buck stops with you. Can you just say for like five seconds, you know what? This is a failure because the whole purpose of the Secret Service is to prevent something like this happening in the first place, in the first place. And it's a zero tolerance thing. There is no like, well, maybe next time this won't happen. It's this should never happen. Right. Let me back it up here for you guys. Uh, Kate, when I say that something like this cannot happen, we are speaking of a failure. We are going to analyze through an independent review uh, how that occurred, why it occurred, and make recommendations and findings to make sure it doesn't happen again. Amazing I couldn't answer. be clearer. I don't know, man. That doesn't and, sound clear I, to me. I sincerely appreciate the clarity on this. Um, 
I did want to ask you, because this has been this. And the media, they're so soft. I mean, she she could keep pushing because honestly, if that was Donald Trump saying that or someone in his cabinet saying that they would just they just would have been. Nope, I want to go back to it. I want to go back to it. I want to go back to it. So it, it's funny that they even she even asked a follow up question to him, which I find funny. Um, but uh, yeah, it's just it's just sad to see it in this way. Do you have any plans to speak yourself with former President Trump or his campaign in light of all of this? No. Uh, Kate, uh, President Biden, uh, as he communicated to the American uh, people, has been in touch with former President Trump. We are in close coordination with the Republican National Convention through the United States Secret Service to understand the threat landscape, uh, to understand the, the security posture, and to take any recommendations and act on them. This is a mutual relationship. Uh, communication works both ways. We are in close touch with the... This guy is a robot. He can't answer a question to save his life, even after such a tragedy has, has occurred. I mean, just, I mean, you think, hey, we're going to reach out to the family and have a conversation with them. We're going to reach out to the former president and have a conversation with them. I mean, you're in a leadership position. You're in the one, the, you're one of the guys in the cabinet, in the executive branch. You know, just answer the question. No, I haven't, I haven't spoken to him, but the president did. You know, but this whole robot response it's all politics obviously i mean th this is exactly what he is doing he is giving answers and interviews from a political point of view and not necessarily from a humility this is my leadership role point of view and this is what we have to wake up and pay attention to because these people this is how they behave this is how they act and so you need to be voting accordingly especially at your local level because you'll have people at your local level talking just like this guy and that is unfortunate. So listen, clearly he hesitated to clearly state verbatim, this was a security failure. He doesn't want to say that. He doesn't want to say it. Now, I would give him more credit and I would actually respect his answer if he just said, you know what? I am the Secretary of Homeland Security. It would actually be a disservice to the investigation if I came out right now and clearly called this a failure. I want to wait till the investigation happens and then I will give you my assessment. But unofficially, as of right now, anybody's life, obviously uh, a former president um, that experienced an attempted assassination, that from a security point of view is a failure, right? And he doesn't have to say the Secret Service is a failure. He doesn't have to say, you know, the Homeland Security is a failure. He, he could just simply say, the operation that day was a failure. The security that day was a failure. He could say that, but again, they're not going to, they're gonna find any way to keep this political and not actually show any type of support or loyalty uh, to another fellow American citizen like Donald J. Trump, our former president, maybe soon to be. But that's my mindset on this. What is yours? What do you think about this guy's interview? What do you think about his responses? He was probably reading off a teleprompter if you ask me. But uh, answer this and more in the comment section below. Thank you for checking out the video today, and I'll see you in the next one.